hope you had a wonderful day. It is time again for our evening reflection or nightly meditation. It's been a beautiful day, lots of time spent outdoors. It's been gorgeous weather, and now it just feels great to just settle into the evening and find time to relax and calm the mind, quiet the body, and get ready to settle down for a peaceful evening. Our thought tonight that I wanted to focus on is I am inclusive. And I wanted to focus on this thought because I think for many of us, we know how badly it hurts to be excluded or to be rejected or to feel like we aren't seen or we aren't welcome. And the cool thing is we all have the power and the innate ability to be welcoming and inclusive in our daily actions. And it's kind of one of those things that uh, just starts a domino effect. The more inclusive each one of us are, the less people there are who feel excluded in any way. Um, and I know many of us already practice inclusivity in our daily lives. And I think it's something that not only we strive to continue doing ourselves, but also something that we strive to inspire in others. So that's what I wanted to focus on tonight is just widening our circles, being welcoming, being um, inclusive, and just inviting people in who maybe we just see on the sidelines, you know, that maybe could use a kind word or a helping hand. Um, and the thing about inclusivity is sometimes it takes a couple tries. Um, people on the outside, people who are outsiders or onlookers who, who maybe appear a little distant, sometimes it's because they've experienced rejection so much in their life that they aren't used to being welcomed in. And sometimes it takes two, three, four, five times. Um, but the thing about inclusivity is we never give up. We always keep that door open and let people know that it's never too late and there's always an opportunity to join our tribe. Um, so it's something that we hope people practice towards us and it's something that we always strive to practice towards others as well. So let's get started in our evening reflection. And you can either take your comfortable seated position or go ahead and relax in a reclined position if you like to do your meditations laying down. Um, We'll focus on our breath as always. And again, a couple nights ago, our reflection was on my breath is my guide. So if you find you have trouble with your mind wandering um, or not being able to keep up with that even pace of breath, go ahead and refer back to that meditation. Uh, it definitely helps get you in that frame of mind. But let's go ahead and get started sitting up nice and tall, finding a comfortable seated position or a relaxing reclined position, whatever feels best for you. Let's go ahead and do our body scan first, looking for areas of tension anywhere in the body, specifically in the places that tension and stress like to settle and kind of get stuck and hang around. Let's focus on the muscles in the face, like the brow line, the jaw. Sometimes even we'll notice the tongue is pressed tightly to the roof of the mouth. Let's see if we can relax that. Now see if you can relax your shoulders, relax the neck, feel the spine release, especially in the upper back and low back. Maybe soften through the hips. Maybe even make any small motions you need to do to just shift the body, allowing everything to settle and fall into place this evening. See if we can sit a little bit taller, keeping the head and neck in line with the spine, widening across the collarbones and shoulder blades. And then we'll turn our attention to the breath, seeing if we can really feel the body expand and contract with each inhale and exhale. Feel the chest and belly expand with the breath inviting in a peaceful energy with each inhale and expelling anything negative with the exhales. And let's take two more deep breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And bringing the hands to the heart, let's connect with our heartbeat for a moment. And without forcing any thoughts, without applying too much effort, let's just call to mind a time when we have felt like we truly belonged. A time
time where we felt welcomed, understood, and accepted. Recall the feeling of warmth and love and joy that that experience brought to you. And find power in the realization that you have the opportunity to offer these same feelings to others. And let's go ahead and relax our hands back down and opening the eyes. And we'll begin deepening this thought process. And again, our thought is I am inclusive. And let's go ahead and say that together. I am inclusive. And keeping the eyes closed or casting the gaze downward, let's go ahead and continue with that even pace of breath as we explore this thought a bit deeper tonight. I am inclusive. It is human nature to want to be accepted. It is human nature to want to be welcomed, to be part of the group, and to be included. I know how it feels to be on the outside looking in. And I also know how it feels to welcome the outsider. I strive to be inclusive as often as I can. My circle is wide. There is no limit to its circumference. There is always room for one more. The greatest gift I can give to someone is to see them, to acknowledge them, and to make them feel welcome. I surround myself with good people with good intentions. I surround myself with people who are always ready to welcome in the outsider, the newcomer, and the onlooker. There are no prerequisites to join my tribe. My tribe welcomes all who are in need of a friend. My tribe runs on love. My tribe is judgment free. The true depth of someone's character is put on full display when they respond to someone who is lonely. Do they look the other way? Or do they hold out their hand and say, come on in, you are welcome here. I practice inclusion because a community that rejects those who are different is a community that I want no part of. I know that the strength of a community is built up through the differences of the diverse members of which it is made. Our similarities mean far less than our differences. It is our differences that spark understanding, new thoughts, innovative ideas, acceptance, and change. I know how badly it hurts to be excluded and for that reason, I will always strive to build a community of love, acceptance, and inclusivity without judgment, without question, without doubt. I am inclusive. Let us bring our hands back to our heart for a moment. Connecting again with the heartbeat, let's take in a big clarifying breath. Inhale. Exhale. And let's call to mind again a time where we have felt included, accepted, and loved for who we are. And know that if you are lonely, there are those out there who are ready to welcome you. And know that you have the power and the ability to always welcome others. Let's take in one more deep breath together. Inhale. Exhale. And relaxing those hands back down. Let us all remember that we are worthy of love and respect, and we are worthy of being included and appreciated just for who we are. Thank you all for joining. I love you all dearly, and I'm wishing you a beautiful night.